بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين uh, This is uh, chapter 2 limits and derivatives and we start section 2.2 the limit of a function uh, Intuitive definition of a limit uh, if we have f of x is a function that's defined when x is near the number a this means that f is defined on some open interval that contains a but it doesn't have to be uh, defined at a itself then we write this symbol and we read it the limit of f of x as x approaches a equals l so the limit of f of x as x approaches a equals l. For example, this is a function f of x. Uh, this function is not defined at 1 because 1 makes the denominator 0. Now, as x approaches 1 from the right or from the left, f of x approaches 0.5, half. So we can write the limit of this function as x approaches 1 equals 0.5. We can estimate this limit using the calculator. If you replace x uh, by a number closer, uh, which is close to 0 to 1, so for example, 1.001, if you use the calculator, and find uh, replace x by 1.001 then you will find that x minus 1 over x square minus 1 uh, is equal to so 1.001 okay uh, you put it in the calculator and you will have 0.4 nine nine seven five so you can say you can see that uh, this function approaches five point five as x approaches one and uh, here from the right because we chose x greater than one so we are approaching one from the right also you can uh, replace x by if you like uh, a number less than one, for example, point nine uh, nine, okay, and find the value of x minus one over x square minus one in this case, uh, okay. Use the calculator. Point nine nine. You will find that the answer is 0.5025. Okay, so uh, you can choose 0.99 also. So it is approaching 0.5. So this would give you an estimation of of the limit. So you can use the calculator to give to get an estimation of the limit. Uh, look to this figure here. We have three functions. Uh, in part A, the function is defined at A, and the limit of f of x of this function when x approaches A from the right or from the left is L. So look here, x, you are, let x approach A from the right and look to the function. So if x is here, this is f of x, so f of x is approaching L. If you go, if x approaches A from the left, then here, if x is here, for example, f of x is here, if x is here, f of x is here, so f of x is going up, and it would be also L. So the limit, we say that the limit of f of x as x approaches A is capital L. You notice that the same situation is here, applies here, 
although in this case f of a uh, is not defined because of this open circle. So f of a is not defined here, but the limit is also l. And here f of a is not defined, and f of uh, f of a is defined, sorry, but it is not equal to l because f of a is here, this blue point, and it is not equal to l. So it doesn't matter whether f is defined at a or f of a is not equal to l. In all the three cases, uh, we have the same situation when x approaches a from the right, f of x approaches l, and when x approaches a from the left, also f of x approaches l. Uh, estimate the value of this limit. Use the calculator uh, immediately using, for example, this is 0, so 0 0.001, okay? And you will get an estimation. So uh, you will have square root of 0 0.001 uh, squared plus uh, 9, okay? And go out from the root and write negative 3 over 0 0.001 one to the power two. Well, the calculator gave me uh, that uh, f of x, let me call it f of x, if this is f of t, okay, f of t, f of t would be 0.16666. So I can say that uh, if, if you divide uh, one over six, you find that it is 0.166667. So I can say that the limit is 1 over 6. Okay, is 1 over 6. Uh, this is comma. Okay. This is just small comma. Okay. Example 2, guess the value of this limit. Again, uh, let x equals, this is 0, so use 0.001. Okay find sign, uh, be in the, the radian mode, and find sign 0 0.001 over 0 0.001, and you will notice that it is, uh, if this is f of x, then f of x would be 0.9999998. So, we can say that it's approaching one. So the limit is one, guessing, just guess or estimate the value by this uh, easy method using the calculator. A one-sided limit is from the right and from the left. We say that the limit is capital L uh, if the limit from the left is L and the limit from the right is also L. So if, if the limit from the left equals the limit from the right, then the limit of the function would be capital L. This is an example. We have a graph here and we need to find some limits. So what is the limit of this function when x approaches 2 from the left? So this is x, this is 2, let us approach 2 from the left. If we are here, then this is f of x. Approach more, we get here. So it's clear that the function f of x is going to this point, which is 3. So as x approaches 2 from the left, g of x approaches 3. What about from the right? Well, if we are here and we are approaching 2 from the right, if we are here, then the function is here. More approach, come closer to 2 from the right. You notice that the function is going in this direction and is approaching 1. So a limit of g of x when x approaches 2 from the right is 1. Now, the limit from the right is not equal to the limit from the left. So the limit of g of x when x approaches 2 does not exist. Because the limit from the right is not equal to the limit from the left. What is the limit of g of x when x approaches 5 from the left? Well, this is 5. Let us approach 5 from the left. So we are here, okay approach so we are approaching this number which is two okay so when x approaches five from the left g of x is approaches two from the right also if we approach five from the right uh, this is f of x and the function will go to two so 
from the right and from the left, the limit is two. So the limit of G of X when X approaches five is two. Notice that I did not pay attention to this point, which give me, which gives uh, G of five. Okay, okay, G of five is defined. Here, G of two is not defined. I, I did not really uh, look to whether the function is defined at five or not. Uh, because the limit does not depend on that. How can a limit fail to exist? Well, we have seen a case if the limit from the right does not equal the limit from the left, then the, it, it does not exist. The limit does not exist. And here, here 1 over x square, uh, if you remember the graph of 1 over x square is uh, like uh, this. This is the graph of 1 over x square. Uh, if you approach zero from the right, then you notice that f of x uh, goes to infinity. And if you approach zero from the left, also the function f of x goes to infinity. So uh, the limit of one over x square uh, does not exist because uh, infinity is not a number. So we can also say that limit one over x square when x approaches zero equals infinity because it's from the right equals to infinity from the left equals to infinity but this does not mean that the limit exists because infinity is not a number so the limit is infinity and it also does not exist infinite limits uh, this is what we need to talk about now when the limit equals infinity uh, we call it infinite uh, limit. So we will call it infinite limit when the limit of f of x is infinity as x approaches a. Okay, we, we say that f of x becomes arbitrary large, very large, okay, when x approaches a. This puts in your mind, uh, pay attention that this does not mean that we are regarding infinity as a number, nor does it mean that the limit exists? So when we write limit equals infinity, we also mean, or we also know that it doesn't exist because it's not a number. This is an example of a function f of x. Uh, when x approaches a from the right, f of x goes to infinity. And when x approaches a from the left, f of x goes to infinity. So we may write limit of f of x as x approaches a equals infinity. Here also, when x approaches a from the right, we notice that uh, if, if we are here, the function is here. If we are here, the function is here. So the function goes to negative infinity. And if we approach uh, x from the left also, the function is going to negative infinity. Since the limit from the right equals to the limit from the left, we can say that the limit of f of x equals negative infinity as x approaches a. But it is also does not exist. Uh, so similar definitions can be given to the one-sided uh, infinite limits. We can have limit of f of x from the right equals infinity, from the left equals infinity, okay. Uh, it could be differ, okay. Also from the right could be negative infinity, from the left could be infinity. We, we have all, all the cases. Remember when we say x approaches a from the left, this means we are taking x less than a. And when we say x approaches a from the right, this means we are taking x greater than a. So here, for example, uh, limit f of x when x approaches a from the left is infinity. So we approach a from the left, x f of x goes to infinity. And here, when we approach a from the right, the limit is infinity. And here, when we approach a from the left, the limit of the function is negative infinity. And when we approach a from the right, the limit is negative infinity. All the cases are, are there. Now, let us define the vertical asymptote. Okay, what do we mean by vertical asymptote? Well, the vertical asymptote has the line x equals a. So it's a vertical line with equation x equals a, and we will call it a vertical asymptote for this function if at least one of the following is true. 
So if any one of this these equations is true, then x equals a is a vertical asymptote. When x approaches a, uh, if the function, if the limit is infinity, when x approaches a, either from the left or from the right, okay, or negative infinity from the left or from the right, or even the limit itself, if any one of these happens, then we say that x equals a is a vertical asymptote. So all in all of these uh, uh, graphs, this line x equals a is a vertical asymptote. So this line always x equals a is a vertical asymptote because we have infinite limits. So does this curve have a vertical asymptote? Whenever the denominator is zero, then the number that makes the denominator zero, x equals to three, is a possible vertical asymptote. How to find out? We find the limit when x approaches three from the right uh, of this function uh, and from the left also. So we, when you have from the right, uh, we uh, let x be a number uh, greater than 3, very close to 3. We can estimate this limit if we choose, for example, x to be 3.001, okay? So 2 times 3.001 over uh, 3.001 minus 3, this will give you 6,002. So if x is this, y would be 6,002. And this means that y is uh, will be a, a huge number. If you come even closer to 3, y will increase. So we understand that the limit is infinity. Of course, if, if you replace x by 3 here, you will get 6 over 0. Uh, and anything over 0 is not defined. It will give you infinity immediately. But here we find that uh, y is positive, so we write infinity. So from here, we conclude that x equals to 3 is a vertical asymptote, is a vertical asymptote. But let us also find the limit when x approaches 3 from the left. Uh, and in this case, we will take x less than 3. So to the left of 3 or less than 3. So let us replace x by 2.999, for example. And you can uh, find y, which is 2 times 2.999. You can even uh, go further and have five nines or seven or whatever you like over 2.999 minus three. And the answer is negative 5.998. And it's a huge number uh, with negative sign. So the limit is negative infinity. Uh, if you if you choose uh, an for example uh, five nines, okay, five nines instead of three nines, uh, you will notice that the number is negative five, okay, negative five nine 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 eight, okay. So this would be y. So if x were as soon as x becomes much closer to 3, you will notice that y is going to negative infinity. That's the end of this lecture. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, chapter 2. Thank you very much.